You've what? been doing it, Gaz. I'm not all, <laughs> mate. All week you've been giving it to me. I'm just about at enough. <laughs> Seriously, well, well, don't just, play it again. Then. He's just handed me a piece of paper, Gary. Saying, oh, I, I have. Do it like. again. I have. That's what I'm talking about. People all just week, listening. James, want to hear it again? Throw me under the bus. You're a, you're a compulsive and, and liar. I haven't. Do, I've you're been, a liar. I'm not comfortable. Why are you lying? I'm to not our comfortable audience. playing it again. Why Gary? are you lying to me? Don't make me do it. I was happy to laugh along. You know, I'm Where, a, where's the note people? I handed to you? Oh, you know, you I'm liar. one of those people. I've had enough. I'm about to get really, really dark on this. Well, Gary, don't lie. Gary's to our overruled audience. me, and we're going to play it again. He's humble. Oh, he doesn't like talking about himself. He is the Don Bradman of our game. I'm sorry to get emotional, but I've lost it. Thank you. See, that's so what, boys. Now that's listen, I've had enough. So I, I didn't know how to end this. I'm going to end it once for all. <laughs> There's a guy on the line now who wants to talk to you, Gary Lyon. Oh, no. Are you there? Are you there, Plugger? Oh, no. Spud, Spud, I'm here, mate. Like, and oh. You know what? That's a, I couldn't understand you on the night, but I could understand it then. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Mate, plug, mate tell you. What, what's going on there, mate? <laughs> All week, I know you're up in barrel. <laughs> it's, it's been a great night for you, as you know, but I have copped it from all and sundry, and we know it was a great night, but... For some unknown reasons, it's come back to me. And Gary Lyon, Plugger, listen, you played State of Origin footy with him, Plugger. Plugger. You know how close me and Spud are, at, mate. And somehow I've got lobbed with... I've been supporting him the whole way. I thought it was great that he showed some emotion. He's up, mate. No, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> mate, you know what, hey? He's gone from hard-boiled spuds to mashed potato, he is. <laughs> come on. Oh, it's backfiring on your spuds. <laughs> oh, it's backfiring on your I honestly couldn't understand him. I was standing behind him, that not just on the stage. I couldn't understand what he was saying, but I, but I, but I finally heard. But anyway, look, mate, you, you wear your heart on your sleeve, mate. I'm proud of you. Uh, <laughs> Plugger, the bit that we couldn't believe was this is an unbelievable night for a legend of the club. We Spud just had a job of introducing you because the <laughs> night was all about you, and he just suddenly broke down like a blubbering mess. He took the show, didn't he? The whole lot. He stole exactly. the whole show. Mate, the, I don't know about the Don Brad, the Don Bradman. That's going a bit far. I would have thought maybe Eddie Hemmings or something like that, mate. You know? <laughs> There's a bit of look at me about it, mate. But anyway, it must have been a great night, uh, Plugger. You caught up with your old mate Greg Burns and Lowy, and you would have sat back and had a couple of quiet beers, I reckon. Mate, it was it was just an unbelievable night. I'm, you know, just still, you know, you, you walk around and, and you think about it and you think, gee, that was... Just incredible to catch up with with all these boys after so many years, and 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 you know, like to be, you know, to be put into the to, into the legend class or whatever it is at, at the club is, well, I, I don't think I really probably should be here myself, but you know, the likes of Alan Jeans, who is probably there wouldn't be too many 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 more blokes more respected in the whole game of of our football than, than Alan and Daryl Baldock is, you know, he's he's a when when people say St Kilda, Daryl Baldock. Straight away comes to their mind. Ian Stewart's one of the greatest footballers we've ever seen. So it's a bit, it's very humbling. I'm, I'm very proud. I'm very honoured. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things, I guess. But yeah, a great night and just great to catch up with all the boys again. Plugger, did it surprise you how loved you are at that club? You left and went to Sydney and you had an amazing career up there as well. But the Saints, you've just always been a part of, of that place. Yeah, look, I mean, I started there and. and, and but the truth be known, my heart will always be there. Like it's, uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of years there, and we went through some tough times, and we we went through some great times, you know. But uh, you know, I think the club you always start with, and you have a long affiliation with. I think it, it always tugs on the heartstrings a bit, and you know, it's um, it was uh, very, um, uh, I couldn't really believe, it. you know, the, the you know the people that they welcomed me with open arms, and I was just very proud, you know. Plug, what did Burnsy think when Spud just got a bit teary? I mean, he's him and Joffa Cunningham. I played in my first year in '86. Had to go down to Moorabbin and, and almost drove my car and went back. I was that petrified. They they would have just had some comments about Spud cracking up on the night. Well, well, I think no, I think all right. Burnsy actually, when I went, got back down to the table, he said, "What happened to Frawley?" I said, oh, oh, "I don't know, mate. I don't know what goes on there." He said, "I thought you must have kicked him or something before he got the mic in his hand." <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, the, uh, you scrubbed up well, though, Plugger. We were very surprised. You had the big, the, the whole kit and caboodle on, the big bag of fruit. Unbelievable, mate. And, well, I think it's been made public, too, mate. It was all a higher job, the whole lot of it. I owned the shoes and socks. There you go. <laughs> and the young yeah. boys loved it, too, Plugger. I know Rick, uh, Nick Revolt had a chat to you on the night. They loved seeing you there. 
Mate, I, I think my first words to Nick were, mate, uh, you run more in one game than what I did for the whole season, mate. Like, <laughs> I can't, and they tell me, like, he, even before the game, like, he's, he's out there for an hour or whatever running around too, like, uh, unbelievable athlete, and, uh, you know, it was just great to catch up with him and, and Cozzy and young Lee Montagna and, and, and Lenny Hayes, who I just, mate, I love. I reckon he's just he's just heart and soul, mate. I, I just love watching him play, and... But just all around the, the whole night, and I've really, I've really got to thank Spud for it all because he, he was, uh, he, uh, he instigated the whole lot of it. So, from me, Spud, thanks very much, mate. I really appreciate it. Beautiful stuff. No, I look forward to catching up uh, in the off season, big fella. And uh, what, what's happening up there today? What are you up to? I'm at the boat show, mate, and uh, I'm. I'm looking around, but I'm only looking at little car toppers, mate. That's that's about where the budget's <laughs> at at the moment. Well, Plugger, we really appreciate you jumping on the line, and everyone involved in footy was uh, wrapped for uh, the club and yourself last week. Well done. Look, thanks very much, fellas. Thanks for the time. Go on, big fella.